Hello my friends and welcome to the 10th episode of the return of the real Salzburg and now when we have reached the, the double fingers of episodes I'm gonna go ahead and jinx myself massively we are gonna win the league we have had such an amazing form this season smashing teams especially smashing teams lower league that we are supposed to smash that shows that we had problems with them last season but now we're just running them over with some amazing results today what an episode i have in front of us today we have first we play as a third place team away from home and then we play even uh, as well the second team from away from home and the third place team being Strasbalchen and then we go uh, go against Golling. But what have we done since we were since you were here with me last? Yes, we did beat Altenmark, which was bottom of the table with seven. Yes, seven zero. Uh, Meyer getting two goals, Nindel getting one, Djordjevic one, Otto one. No, actually two. Otto 2 and Vuk Orlandic back from injury getting one goal as well then we continued with beating newly um, relegated no newly promoted team with 5-0 um, once again Otto goal Meyer two goals Djordjevic one goal and an own goal I think yes uh, sorry again, that is my chair sounding when I move around. Um, then we beat our rivals away from home, SAK, with 3-0 comfortable victory. Orlandic goal, Meyer goal, and Moldinov getting a goal. And then we kept on our great form with a draw against the green and white Helen. Uh, Etel goal and Orlandic goal and we also got a sending off here and then we had Puch and beat them comfortably 3-1 at home Moldino two goals and Führauer one goal we are top of the league um, we are now playing third, third away and second away if we can win both these games I can stretch myself so far to say that after 14 games, yes, I know there's 16 games to go, but that we have it comfortably because then we've shown even even against the complete best teams of the league that we are better than them. Let's go further on to the game against, let me double check, yes, Strasvalchen. We had uh, two draws with them last season we are gonna play George which we're gonna take back our Nindel was uh, suspended last game so we're gonna take him back Odabasic is not going to play other than that um can be on the bench though there we go so Angerer is going on to the bench there we go so this is the best team we can play our loney this guy here, Marchetta, is still injured. Uh, so um, our own player, Sandmeier, is playing great instead. I also do apologize if you can hear my computer. For some reason, it's going really loud at the minute. But we're, we're playing the strongest team we can. And we're going to get them.
Also, if I sound a bit nearly awake and stuff, I have just had a nap in the middle of the day, which <laughs> maybe is not optimal for recording videos, but it was very needed. But here we go. We're from... Uh, are we in blue? Oh, wait, let me double check. Look. When it goes away. We're in blue, which means that we're from the left. Uh, we have most attacks on our right wing and cent left wing, sorry, and central. <clears throat> Not very much happening in this first half. It is a top of the league clash, though, so it's not. It's not very um, surprising that it's a tight game. Um, here comes the home team in uh, attack and we can head it away with Nindo uh, but they win it back and their name has gone completely out of my head at the minute uh, they come on the left uh, crosses it in but finishes it wide yeah that's it Stras Valichen and uh, we're approaching half time quite quickly, but now they have a corner. Corner comes in, um, and they and it's uh, what's it called? Gone out of my head. Anyway, the ball is out of our box. <laughs> uh, that was crappy commentary, so sorry for that. I uh, the English just disappeared from my brain for a second. A pretty dull and annoying first half. I'm, I'm gonna do something typically Janan and typically Swerbian gaming that you're gonna see. I'm gonna have a go at them at half time, and that has resulted in a lot of greenage, which is fantastic. And now we are attacking from the right to the left. We're in blue or violet. And here we go. We have a throw in on the left wing. But we can't throw to our own players apparently, um, and now they are attacking us. But our centre back is heading it away. Now they play a through ball, and uh, they are one on one with our goal goalkeeper. But the shot is wide. That was a terrible, terrible shot. But thank you very much. Maybe I should sign their striker. <laughs> Uh, we're still top of the league at the minute, no matter what's happening in Goling. I think uh, the next game is going to be even more crucial to staying top. Uh, oh my, my, my computer is really loud for some reason. Um, it's a cross in, but it's get, um, cleared out. That's a word actually. Sandmeyer has the ball now. Our centre back passes it tries to pass it but uh, fails to do so and Stras Valken comes down on their left wing uh, runs but we have two defenders out there should be all right we win it back there's attempt of a ball to Moldino but it doesn't work um, also if wait mm, there we go, we play on midfield, Meyer plays it through, Muldinov has the ball, Muldinov runs out at attack, Muldinov shoots wide, but we are creating shame, we're not scoring, and now we are going to get a legend from the last season, the chance to change something, we're going to get Muldinov off, and Ayub Erdogan on. Also, if you do like my content, and if you do want to show me that I have some kind of potential to... <laughs> become an alright youtuber in the future please hit that subscribe button also please hit a like on my videos for the youtube algorithm and also drop a comment to interact with my what do you think are we going to get promoted or have i just jinxed us massively um and do you think i ever i can ever overtake red bull salzburg we're going to make another substitution Uh, we are going to take Meyer off and Omerovic gets on. Also, Andrei Lazarevic are going to get a run on the left wing instead of Orlandic. 
Andrei Lazarevich, which is our youngster. He's a free kick for Sasvalch, and they're going to score, probably. But no, there's a corner for them, I think. But no, it's a penalty. I, I, yeah, I didn't see the commentary, obviously, and I'm, because it's 2D, I didn't see what happened. But our goalkeeper, Cobra, saves it. What a legend. <laughs> what an absolute legend. Cobras is player of the years. Here, here it goes to our goalkeeper. <laughs> what an absolute save! He could probably he saved us for promotion there. I think if we get promoted, it's all up to Cobras now. Ayo Perdon has the ball. Uh, does nothing with it. Uh, there is a free kick, I believe. And the referee's talking to their player. Is there a red card? No, it's not. Is it? No, yellow card only. Sadly, bad referee. Um, <laughs> there's a free kick in uh, from Ertel. Gets crossed in. There's a scramble for it. Heads out to um edge of the area. But nothing happened. And the game is over. 0-0. Zero, zero. I am... Yeah, I think I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, I, I I would obviously have taken a win, but zero zero away from home. Remember that away from home to the third in the league. It's not too bad. I just with a little bit of more um, effectivity, we could have scored some of our chances and won the game but yeah I will play through the days between um, uh, look here we got 19 games without uh, losses including last few from last season last six from last season and the three uh, 13 or first of this season and with this screen I'm just going to say that, um, see you in a bit. Here we are people, it's time for Sport Club gulling away from home and of course in the most important game so far, Selmayer is, get, is suspended, Marchetta is injured, so we're playing with Forstruber, our original left back, as a centre back. He knows how to play that, that black thing. Like, it's meant to be as black as possible, right? <laughs> no, of course it's not. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, of course it's going to happen for this game. Um, I'm worried, people. I'm, I'm worried, but let's do this. There's no no point of dragging it out too much. Rodabasic is coming in as left-back. He knows the role and everything like that. Occasionally. Okay, um, team talk uh, goes horribly wrong. Let's do. Let's try to save the team talk from our assistant. Yeah, it was saved-ish. But here we go. SV Gol SC Goling, not SV Goling. Um, away from home. Tricky game. They are second in the league. And they are five points behind us though, so no matter what happens today, they're not going to go past us. We're playing in white, I have to remember that now for the live commentary. We are attacking from the left. Uh, here comes Godding though. Uh, also, interesting news is that we've um, never beaten them in Football Manager. As I say, Godling, we played them twice and we've lost twice. That's fantastic news. Ordabashic collects it on the left wing. This can't be the highlight, so something is going to happen. <clears throat> uh, he passes it straight to a, um, a defender, but um, an opponent. They come on the right wing. Are they going to surpass Ordabashic here yeah, with a pass? And it goes into the striker who scores. Um, I think Cobra should potentially be able to save that, but obviously, Forstrube playing centre back doesn't have the marking situation and um, 
we are 1-0 down to SSA Gulling who are now only two points behind us. We're still top of the league though and uh, hopefully we are going to maintain the good form against the other teams in this series, in this league. Um, but there we go, let's go! <laughs> Uh, the surprise of a visually impaired guy when it just starts blinking in your team's color. That's a fantastic feeling. And uh, Theo Zauer is scoring that very important goal. Uh, we're back on level peggings. We're back on five points ahead of Golding. And uh, now there's corner for us. Here it comes from the left, back post corner. Get headed in, get in, man. We are 2-1 up just before half time. It's fantastic. I also do apologize if I screamed a bit close to the mic, but I got very excited for Djordjevic's. Uh, Djordjevic's. Uh, do you say that in English? Yeah, Djordjevic. Goal. 2-1. Uh, one of our signings last season, I believe. He came to the club this season. It was Orlandic last season with Djordjevic, yes. So 2-1 up at half time. And. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, let's go passionately say something positively. Yeah, that worked for everyone except for three guys that doesn't give a shit of what I say at any point. It's always the same dudes as well that never give a shit. So if we can win this game with an absolute great win that would be should put us massively ahead of them. We'll have the ball outside the box. Shoots that was a very, very close shot. Could have been 3-1. We have, if I can read right, 134 away supporters. Um, out of a total 390 on the stands, which is a great number of away support in this division. Um, and it looks like we are going up to the Regional Liga. I keep jinxing it. I, I don't know why I should really stop saying that we're going up, because... We're going to end up not getting up and getting sacked, and the thing is going to get a very sad end. Andrei Lazarevich is going to get on instead of Orlandic, if I can. There we go. And... Yeah, wait a little bit. Oh, we got um Injury on Ordabasic. Of course we do. Okay, Angerer is a... He's a central mid. Oh, here we go, a DM. Okay, Gresseger. You are going to play center back. There we go. And Forst will go back on his left back pole. Uh, not post, position. Uh, which is kind of a post if you don't talk about goal post if you talk about military post and stuff like that left back could be a post uh, we take another substitution uh, Muldinov out and we can put Omerovic in no actually I'll give Ayuperdon a bit of a run out and here we go shall we praise them no I never use freaking shouts don't see the point of them. Outside of the box, long shot directly. I no chance <laughs> is deflected. Here's a cross coming in from Porto. Well, I hope yes. Here's a cross. Back post. Goalkeeper takes it. What if it was a bit of um, what's that game? Um, yeah, that game that came up with um, came with windows ages ago. That p pinball. That's what it, it kind of looked like that because I have the too deep thing and the ball would just going back and forward between players so it was a bit of a pinball game um i was shit at that game by the way uh Thirawa with the ball out on the light uh right wing george uh, to ayo perdon ayo perdon that was a terrible shot a terrible 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 shot i don't think I think Omerovic is going to get the first subspace for the striker in the next game. Meyer has the ball out to Djordjevic. Djordjevic crosses it in. Back post. Misses all of them. Out of the box. So for Stulba. 
uh, for Schubert twice, twice, I don't need to do that German accent more than usually. Um, Ettel has the ball, Ettel passes into Meyer. Meyer uh, goes out, passes out to Nindel. Nindel is going to cross, he tries to cross, it gets blocked. We have a free kick. Are we going to have time to do it? Yes. Cross comes in, free kick comes in, when, hello, game, game, there we go, cross comes in, back post, heads away, and the game is over, bish bash bosh, we win 2-1, mm, it was 2-1 right, yeah it was, <laughs> I love the uncertainty that sometimes come over me, I'm completely, I'm completely sure about something, then I say it out loud, and then all security just goes out of my head. I'm just like, was it? Yeah, it was. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, passionately, something good. Someone reacted negatively to that. Okay, fair enough. He doesn't like being on top. Uh... And after 13, is it 13, no, 14 games of the season, we're top of the league quite comfortably. And it does, my friends, feel like we are going up. It, it has to happen. It can't not happen after the start of the game. It's going to be one of the biggest bottle jobs, as they're called, if I fail. To make this but it wouldn't be unique for me I have done it offline obviously years before um, but yeah I don't think I've done like, being unbeaten for 14 games in a 30 game season and not won the league I don't think I've ever done that so it would be a record for me as well PB um, but yeah that's what's that's what's it. Um, yeah, let's check the schedule. See when we're gonna be back. We're probably gonna be back just before the winter break. So them two games here. So four games of camera, and then them two. Yeah, and then I did check the schedule here, and it's the same. Not as extreme as last season, but it's the same thing with very long between games so what I'm gonna try to do is having a training match because if you remember there was lots of like game fitness thingies problems last season I'm gonna have like if let's say it's 14 days between the game I'm gonna have uh, one or two training games with our B squad uh, in between the games to keep the match fitness going on uh, obviously all them games will be off camera uh, I'm also gonna not because last season we didn't we weren't able to book any training um yeah uh, friendlies that's what it called uh friendlies in january um but our assistant booked a shitload of them after the first game after the break and um i deleted them all but this season i won't to see if that affects the <clears throat> the game sharpness at all um, obviously it could be that we get injuries and stuff but that's fun um, but yeah we'll be back with uh, this game here this game and then I'll be back after the transfer window so yeah until next time take care of each other be nice to each other and bye bye